Ah, oh, so you're finally awake. I was beginning to worry. I had hit you a little too hard. Oh well. All's well that ends well. Hmm? Oh, don't be a child, dear. It might bruise a little, but you'll be fine. At least until after dinner. Although, that might be a while, knowing my brother and his poor timekeeping. I'd bet my right fang that he's still in his dusty library, with his nose buried in another old book. My ears are burning, dear sister. Are you filling our guest's head with more of your venomous remarks? Ah, brother, I see your timekeeping is as good as your fashion sense. You have no idea what you're talking about. I'll have you know that high collars and cloaks are the height of fashion. Yes, in the 17th century. This is now the 21st century, brother. But I doubt you knew that, since you spent every waking moment locked in that broom cupboard, poring over dusty tomes. What? <coughs> broom cupboard? My Arcanium is not a broom cupboard. The cheek, the sheer disrespect that I suffer at the hands of my airhead sister, who spends her twilight years partying with the mortal cattle like some kind of sycophant. Oh, spare me, brother. When I became a vampire, I signed up for eternal life, not eternal boredom. The humans are a lot more fun now that they've embraced the sins of alcohol and lust. I think you'll find them rather good company. Ugh, I shudder at the thought. Anyway, enough bickering. Let's have a look at the guest you've brought to our humble manor tonight. Hello, I am Count Solomon, but you may call me Sol. It is so very nice to meet you. <laughs> Who's the sycophant now, dear brother? Ugh, ignore my sister here. Frankly, I'm surprised she hasn't cut her lips with such a sharp tongue. I'm sure you have many questions, but I assure you all will be answered in time. However, the short version is that my sister found you knocked out and brought you back here for me to look after. I... Sorry? My sister told you she was the one who attacked you. Or did she? Hey, it was a slip of the tongue. I'll show you a slip of the tongue. Now, now, dear brother. I'm sure you wouldn't want to act out in front of our guest, now would you? <sighs> Anyway, I am going to give you a quick examination to make sure my brain-dead sister hasn't caused any permanent damage. Hurry it up, dear brother. I'm absolutely famished. Right. Firstly, I'll check your pulse. Come now. We can both see quite plainly that our guest has a nice, strong, mm, delicious pulse. Please, excuse me, but could you please continue on to the more interesting parts of the examination? You always insist on being thorough, in the name of putting our dinner, uh, I mean, guests, <laughs> at ease. Why is that? Well, sister... You know that high quality ingredient I mean healthy individuals are hard to come by these days. Especially what with all the sugar, fats and chemicals in the modern human's diet. Combine that with a lack of exercise and you have an accident waiting to happen. By checking how healthy our guest is, we will know if we can have them for dinner once or if we can make this a recurring thing. Unfortunately, you are correct. Finding a decent meal these days is getting harder and harder. If we are not careful, 
we will have to move to a new area. So, how healthy, in your estimation, is this particular human? Hmm. Well, they seem healthy enough. They have a little extra fat around the midsection, but it was just the holidays. Still, I believe I could have picked a better candidate, sister. All that partying is affecting your judgement. Well then, dear brother, next time, if you can pull yourself away from your dusty tomes long enough, you can go find us a bite to drink yourself. Oh, do not look so worried, you sweet little morsel. We won't drink too much, and I promise we will take perfect care of you afterwards, my dear little human. My sister is right. We are vampires, not animals. You will not be harmed, and will not feel any pain. You'll experience a feeling of lightheadedness and euphoria. You may black out momentarily, but that will just be from the sudden lack of oxygenated blood going to your brain. Oh yes, because that sounds so very reassuring, dear brother. I am merely trying to help our guests understand exactly what is going to happen, so they don't panic. After all, you know how fear taints the taste of blood. Well... I assure you, you're going about it the completely incorrect way. My dear, we are not going to harm you. We're just going to drink a little of your blood and take care of you until you regain your strength and then send you on your way. It's kind of like your catch and release fishing. Does that sound okay? Not that you have a choice, though. <laughs> Excellent. Well, let's get this over with then. Turn your head to the right, please. I need you to expose your cartoid artery. Ugh, what do they teach you mortals nowadays? The big blue one that runs up the left side of your neck. Excellent. Now just let me... Now hold on, dear brother. What makes you think you get to feed first? Uh, well, it's only fair, dear sister. After all, I'm the one who will be taking care of our guest here after we finish. It makes sense that I should get the first bite. Ah, uh, but I must remind you, I am the one that found them. I went through all the trouble of choosing them, hunting them down, and I must also remind you, I am now wasting away after all the hard work I have put in. Well, it seems we're at an impasse. How do you suggest we decide? Hmm, why not flip a coin for it? I'm certain I saw some in that broom closet of yours. Hmm, good idea, sister. I shall return shortly. <laughs> oh, my poor naive brother. All smarts, but no common sense. Now, my dear, are you ready to begin? Can you feel my breath on your neck as I get closer and closer and closer? Sister, I have the co- Wait a second. You lying deceptive little- Ah, oh, dear brother. I am so glad you've returned. 
It seems this human is quite delicious after all. So very delicious that I just could not help myself, it seems. I should have known you'd pull something as underhanded as this. You truly are despicable, sister of mine. Oh, do not be so dramatic. Besides, it's your own fault. You've had centuries to walk this earth, yet you're just as gullible as the many mortals you like to look down your nose at. All right, all right, you've made your point. Uh, just, just go and get the bandages and disinfectant for our guest before they bleed out all over my nice, clean rug. Whatever you say, dear brother. And, my dear morsel, I am sorry to have to leave you in such boring company, but I suppose it is his turn to feed. But do not worry. My brother may be annoying, but he is efficient. He won't take long to feed. I'll be back shortly, brother dearest. Enjoy your meal. Ugh. That woman really knows how to get under my skin. Ah, <sighs> Right, human. Unlike my sister, I don't play with my food. So let's get this over with, hmm? Very good. Now we just need to find the artery and... I'm back, brother. Did you know we're almost out of disinfectant? Oh my. Am I interrupting something? Would you two like a moment alone? Oh, shut up, sister. Now give me the supplies so I can take care of our guest. Don't you mean wrap up our leftovers? <laughs> Ugh. There, human. You're all bandaged up. We'll keep an eye on you for the next few hours, just to make sure nothing happens whilst your blood supply replenishes. My sister will take the first shift. But, brother, I'm already meant to be doing the second shift, and besides, I think I'm beginning to get a hangover. You know I'm awfully sluggish after a party. Yes, I suppose that is true. But as a balance argument, I, um, don't care. Well, that settles that, then. I guess I will be watching you for now. <laughs> Try and get some rest, human. <laughs> 